EA Sports. It's in the game. Or it isn't, as is the case for many users of the PC version of EA Sports FC 24. Or for those of us very familiar with the series, still going to call it FIFA 24. FIFA on the PC has always had a bit of a, an issue in that not many people play it, not compared to the console versions of it, to the point where sometimes you'll go on the servers and there's literally no one there, so you can't even play online. But there are a certain number of people who do actually enjoy playing FIFA on the PC, me included. That is until last year with FIFA 23 and now EA Sports FC 24. They clearly made some improvements to the game engine with the hypermotion technology uh, and unfortunately uh, that has led to a lot of PCs not having a nice time trying to run it. So I'm trying to investigate why and I'm trying to find a solution. Spoiler alert, I do find a solution. This video has actually stemmed from my own frustrations in that I have a 20 core i9 processor running in my PC with an RTX 3060 GPU. Uh, for some reason, FIFA won't play. So we'll jump into that first. Right, okay, so this is the setup of my PC. As you can see here, I've got a Intel Core i9-10900F CPU, so that's the one without the integrated graphics. And on here, we've got all 20 cores. Memory, I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4, I've got numerous hard disks in there. GPU, I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. So you'll see it's doing something here with 3D. That is literally OBS uh, recording. So here is my display configuration. 1080 resolution. Full screen. Refresh rate of 60 hertz. I could knock that down to 30, but it's not really going to make much difference. Frame rate, I've got it locked to 30 to try and give the CPU and graphics card less to do. Vertical sync, I've switched off. Dynamic resolution scale, I've switched on. Cutscene quality, I've got set to half frame rate. Strand based hair off. All the rendering quality, grass quality and crowd quality are at low. So we'll jump into the game and you'll see what I mean. There's a serious problem with this game running on my 20 core <laughs> PC with quite a beefy graphics card, although admittedly budget, but I shouldn't have a problem running this game. So I am currently Bradford City. The resolution's dreadful here, the picture quality is appalling. Um, but that's what I'm having to do to try and get it working. So it seems to be reasonable at the moment, but we'll give it a few moments to uh, settle in, as it were. Here we go, oh, stuttering started. Just take a shot, boom, terrible goal. Now that shake is the camera shake, that's part of the game, that's not a problem with it. You can switch it off I believe, um, which is probably a wise idea. So cutscene there, half frame rate, kind of expecting that. Doesn't look great, but there we go. So let's see how it goes now. See now when the, the players are passing, it's really stuttering, slowing down. There we go. Boom, here we go. Maybe goal number two. Oh, almost. There we go, the ball's gone up in the air and it's stuttering like mad. That'll be my throw in, thank you very much. See how bad this actually gets. Oh, a lot of stutter there. It's almost like when you pass the ball or kick it distance, it's trying to calculate all the physics and just not being able to keep it up, which I, I could be onto something there potentially. But yeah, this this is playable at this resolution, but on a PC <laughs> of the spec that I've got, should be playing a lot better than this. Should be smooth as butter. Boom. There we go. So you get the general idea. Not a good performance. So what I'm actually going to do, now I'm thrashing leads, is quit the game and I'm going to run it on a much lower spec PC. So I'm going to run it on an AMD 
PC, which I'll just talk you through in a moment, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so this is the spec of the PC that I'm now going to test FIFA on. So it's an AMD Ryzen 5, 5600G with Radeon graphics. As you can see here, the Radeon graphics is the only GPU in this machine. Other than that, I've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and I am running it off an SSD. So let's jump in. We'll put the settings to the same and see what happens, shall we? So I've tried to create a similar scenario. We're now on the AMD 5600G. We're using the built-in graphics. Uh, so I'll just show you the display configuration. So I've, I've matched it like for like. So we've got 1080p, full screen, frame rate limited to 30 frames per second, V-Sync off, dynamic resolution scale, we want that on actually, uh, cutscene quality half frame rate, strand based hair off, all the other settings down at low. And well, I'll let you make your own mind up about this. There's a tiny bit of slowdown, but not not anywhere near as much as on my other PC. Boom. Oh, so close. Cutscenes look a lot smoother, despite still being on uh, half speed. So what is going on? <laughs> All of the Reddit forum posts that I've looked at, Every single setting that I've changed on my PC has not fixed the problem. And I cannot, for the life of me, work out why. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to explore in a bit more detail at hardware level to find out what on earth is going on. And hopefully be able to fix the problem. Um, although I might not be able to, in which case EA might have to fix the problem. But I'm not convinced... I won't be able to solve it. Let's take a look. Before we do that, I'm just going to change some of the settings just to demonstrate this in a bit more of an extreme way. So I'm going to, I've increased the, the settings so there's no limit on FPS. Uh, vertical sync I've put on. Dynamic resolution scale I've switched off. I've put cutscenes to full frame rate. Strand based hair on. And I've set everything else to ultra. So we'll see how this goes. Incredibly enough, it's pretty much as smooth. It, it slows down a tiny bit, but not uh, not too bad at all. Whoa! See what happens when I take a corner. Cutscenes are still a little bit uh, not amazing, but there's a lot going on there graphically. Oof. Yep, no slowdown. You can play this at full HD with ultra settings on literally the APU on this processor. And I can't play it on my 20 core <laughs> i9 Intel processor with GTX, sorry, RTX 3060. Unbelievable. So I'm just going to have a look inside the AMD system that I've built. So it runs FIFA particularly well. Let's just have a quick look to see what, what's going on in here. So I've got two sticks of RAM. So they'll be running in dual channel. That's fine. Got the processor with the, uh, the fan on there. Everything seems to be connected correctly. Got the uh, crucial SSD there. Um, so not much going on really. Um, plenty of airflow through the case. It's a really cheap gaming case, this actually. Um, so I think I got it for about forty pounds, um, and it does does quite a good job. Um, so hardware-wise, that seems to be set up okay. Um, I have recently built this, so should we take a look at my i9 system? Okay, so this is inside my core i9, and um. I'm afraid to say 
<laughs> I did move this into this case quite a while ago because I wanted to use two Blu-ray drives. But what I've noticed is I've I've not really given it any cooling, so there's no rear exhaust fan, there's no front fan or anything like that. It's just running in the case, um, and well, to be honest with you, just looking in there, it's quite quite filthy. So what I've done a couple of years ago when I moved it into this case is not considered cooling. So that doesn't seem to make much sense though, as to why FIFA wouldn't run. Simply because uh, I, I run loads of games on this and I never have a problem. If things start to get a bit warm, if I'm pushing it a bit far, then usually get a bit of bottlenecking, but not, not to the level that we're seeing on, on FIFA. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to swap this into the gaming case. So it's got plenty of airflow and we'll take it from there. I have now moved the PC into the case that the AMD setup was in. So there is now a ridiculous amount of airflow on this PC build. I've also cleaned out all of the heat sinks and every component in there and hopefully we'll see some results. Right okay now time for some serious business. So resolution now cranked up to 3840 by 2160 which is of course 4k. Full screen, refresh rate of 60 hertz. I have locked the frame rate to 60 uh, mainly because my monitor <laughs> refreshes at 60. Uh, I've turned vertical sync off so we might see a bit of screen tearing but that's just my preference with it being a, a fast paced game. Dynamic resolution scale off, we don't want it to uh, change the resolution as we play. Cutscene quality, full frame rate, strand based hair on, ultra rendering quality, ultra grass quality, ultra crowd quality. So similar scenario again, same match on the same PC but with loads of airflow, let's see what happens. Just one thing to bear in mind, I am uh, recording with OBS as well, adding to the strain on the GPU. Uh, but, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. We've not got any of those issues that we had before, where we were getting the PC thinking about what it was doing every time you passed the ball. Is it going in? Oof! So close. There we go, a nice cutscene there for you. Admittedly, this is going to be downscaled to 1080p, uh, but that's just because I didn't want to push OBS too hard. So there we have it. Now, I feel really stupid, a guy who's got a tech channel, not being able to work this out until very recently. But, let's be honest with you, you've not been able to work it out if you've reached this video. So, I hope I have helped you out. I might actually start live streaming some FIFA now that I know I can capture and play the game very well on my PC uh, so if you want to get stuck in with a the stream then I'm, I'm up for a challenge just let me know in the comments below also let me know if this works for you uh, if it hasn't worked for you then it may be that the problem lies in one of those reddit posts where there is some small victories there so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and I hope I have brought you a small amount of joy I'll see you next time uh, you didn't think I'd let the AMD go without any cooling, did you? Problem solved.